the content from the first three days of this vlog got deleted by accident. So I'm basically gonna walk you through everything that's happened in this London vlog. So maybe it's actually better so I can give you more context and like add in little b-roll snippets about what the London trip was about and give you a little bit of insight of what a 22 year old entrepreneur slash content creators life kind of looks like and how I basically am navigating through things as I'm learning, evolving, growing, tapping into different markets and understanding new things and trying to have difficult conversations and meeting so many of you all in person. Yeah, trying to also maintain consistency within myself, my habits and share this journey with you. So if you ever want to, you know, either be a content creator or be an entrepreneur and start your own business or do things that may be challenging or out of your comfort zone, then um, you may enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy it. It's also currently three o'clock in the morning because I have to leave to my flight at 5 a.m. and I haven't packed yet, but I literally woke up and started going through content and I was like, oh my gosh, the first three days of the video is literally deleted. So um, yeah, let's start with the beginning of my trip. Whenever I got here, the first thing that I made sure I did was get into a good routine. And I feel like that's the hardest thing is whenever you travel, you lose consistency. And if you are someone who is going to be traveling and working, or maybe you're even just like trying to find consistency, I knew the minute I landed, I needed to just get organized and get myself up and start running or go to the gym or do whatever it is, some form of movement, because that is the best thing that you can do is just make a decision and do it. Don't contemplate, don't overthink. Literally, if you wanna be consistent with your habits, you have to make the decision that, you know what? I wanna reach my goal. And in order for me to get there, I have to make a decision and keep a promise that I've made to myself because nobody else is gonna do it for me, but me. So first thing I did when I got back, I literally went up, I went for a run around um, Hyde Park. It was literally raining, it was cold, but I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna let the weather get in my way. I'm gonna do it. And I felt amazing after. And that is literally the thing about discipline is whenever you finally get yourself to do something and you stick to it, you see the results that it has on your mind, your body, the way that you feel, the energy that you give off. And it's all because you literally stuck to your word and you did the thing that you said you were gonna do. If you're struggling with consistency, make a decision, do it, stick to your word. So that's what I did to make sure that I was maintaining habits throughout my travel because without my routine and without my habits, my mind will go everywhere and nothing will get done. And then I'll get into my like little panic attacks, I guess you could say. Like I always have these like mental breakdowns whenever I'm not prioritizing my mental health. And my morning routine is very important to me. So I have to have that peace and that time for myself to really balance work and my mental health. And you need that time for yourself alone, but you have to prioritize it, which can be challenging, especially if you are having a busy life. So the first main thing of this trip was to meet with my app team, because as some of y'all know, I've been going through a transition with my old app, which was Lift With Liana, which was only fitness. And then as I have evolved, I have to evolve my businesses, which is one, my journals, and two, the fitness app that is now a empowerment platform for you to focus on your mental health and fitness, and we're constantly evolving it and making sure that it is speaking to everyone. Also, within fitness in my journey, I love the gym, but recently I have been loving running more. And I don't know if it's just like a weird transition that I'm on, but I am currently doing hybrid training, which is a mix between running and training in the gym. So I'll do three times in the gym and the rest of the days I will run. I find it more enjoyable for me right now. And I feel like when you're on your fitness journey, you have to find things that you enjoy doing, not what others think that you should be doing or not what you think you should be doing because other people are doing it or because that's what you see. And the thing about fitness is when you start training only for your body, it will not last you are going to build an inconsistent routine and unsustainable habits if you're constantly relying on your body changing and focusing on results all the time. If you are driven by the change in your body, then you're gonna develop a bad relationship with the gym. You're gonna develop a bad relationship with food. You have to do it for your overall being. And that's the beauty about training is you're doing it for your mental strength, your mental health, and 
to make sure that you are, if you want to lose weight, if you want to gain weight, if you want to put on more muscle, whatever it is, whatever your goals are, yes, that's amazing, but you also have to do it just for your overall well-being and you will develop better habits with the gym or with running or whatever style you like to do when it comes to training, any form of movement. And that is what I've realized along the years. It's not just about the gym, it's about mental strength and mental resilience. And so that is why I have shifted my app. And so we had a huge app meeting where we are discussing things about like new challenges moving forward, new things coming into the app regarding guides, fitness, different types of training, not only just in the gym, also when it comes to Ramadan coming up and things that are just going to help you constantly improve your overall journey and making sure that it's not only helping you within fitness, but how can we help you as a whole? We're not just on a mission to convert your audience. This is about helping women all over the world. There's also involving community in this. We could find UGC creators who are part of your community and are very good with content creation. And we could get them on the feed so it feels community led rather than just a few people talking. Whenever you are trying to start something, a business, or maybe it's a new career, you are going to go through so many challenges and face different things that you like, that you don't like. It's also gonna be hard as you're constantly growing. But just know if you have a vision and you constantly stay authentic to yourself and do things that align with you, I promise you, you will find the perfect thing for you. You just have to stick with what aligns with you, always. Because if you're doing something that you don't love, it's never going to stick with you, no matter how hard you try. If it doesn't align with you, you're always going to feel some form of disconnect. So whenever you are on this entrepreneurial journey or whatever it may be, just know that if you have a vision and you put in the work every single day and you try to make it the best and you learn and you ask for help, then I promise you, you will do whatever it is that you're passionate about. The meeting went really, really well. We also discussed some new recipes that are also coming into the app. It was just a constantly evolving uplift you and making it the best as possible, which whenever you are starting a business, you are constantly going to be evolving it. It is literally going to be all the time. Like you have to constantly evolve it and knowing how is this going to impact their life and how can I make it better to help them within their journey or whatever it is that you are giving to someone. So we had the app meeting and then the next day we were leaving to Birmingham. At 5 a.m. we all met up and we headed over to Gymshark HQ which is two hours away and the reason why I went to the Gymshark HQ was because we were shooting my collection with Gymshark which I'm actually currently wearing right now so this is where we're gonna be doing the e-com shoot so basically for the website so um, yeah one thing that I am NOT good at is taking pictures in general, if someone else is taking pictures of me, it's just not, it's just not good for some reason. I guess I just don't like all the, uh, it's, it's like spotlight, it's literally like spotlight. So um, yeah, it's definitely gonna be uh, getting out of my comfort zone today. This collab was something that we already dropped previously with Gymshark and it was the first thing that I've ever done, even designed or created. I've always been passionate about fashion and I'm definitely learning along the way. On the back of the sweatshirt, it says, discomfort is where growth occurs. That quote genuinely resonates with me and I know it resonates with so many of you all as well. And that is why I made sure that that quote was on there. So whenever you put on a hoodie, not only is it going to be premium quality, cozy, comfy, and cool, but it's also going to give you this sense of comfort whenever you put it on because you know whatever it is you're going through, if it's hard, if it's uncomfortable, it's going to build you. It's literally going to build you. That's the beauty of the uncomfortable times in your life. And you have to take it as a blessing, even though it may be hard in that moment to see the blessing in it. I hope you guys love this collection. And this is going to be the last graphic drop before the Modesty collection comes out, which is um, 
very exciting. That is a collection that we were shooting at the Gymshark HQ. We launched it in t-shirts as well with the Arabic to represent my Arabic heritage. I'm also half Spanish, so um, maybe we can do something with Spanish in the future. Yeah, that was an amazing day. I also had a meeting with the chief brand officer after the collection, so um, this was still the same day, but I didn't film this part. Okay, we are headed back to the hotel and it was a very good day, very productive, lots of great meetings and shoots. And so I am excited to tell you all about a meeting that I had and just some conversations that are very exciting about the modesty movement. So this conversation was honestly, it was the first time that I've ever spoken out in full of how I feel about everything happening with like the modesty situation when it comes to like bringing more modesty to the brand and me and Gymshark being one and understanding the sensitivity around modesty and everything and trying to coexist the two because when it comes to modesty and when it comes to wearing sports bras and leggings in the gym it has to coexist right how can we speak to both communities how can we make everyone feel included and nobody feels excluded? How can we give, you know, women the confidence with leggings and sports bras, but how can we also give women that want modesty and to feel confident as well? And so mixing those two together can be challenging, but I know it's going to come with difficult conversations, which I'm prepared for because whatever you want to do in life, if it's something revolutionary or it's hard or you are the first person in your family to do it, it is going to be hard. But if you put your mind to it, you can genuinely do it because anything is possible in this world. Y'all, I'm literally, I, I've said this before, I'm just a girl from Dallas. If I can do any of this, so can you. And so I had a tough conversation with a chief brand officer as a 22 year old with a big brand like Gymshark, it was hard for me, but I felt a sense of growth in me. And I was like, you know what? I have, I would have never done this. I would usually just sit back and suppress my voice and not speak out. But now I'm finally finding the confidence with myself because I'm so passionate about giving women more coverage. And I know it's gonna take more of me. And so as I'm growing, evolving and learning, I am also able to communicate that in a way that helps brands understand the sensitivity around things that they might have never understood before and it's all an education and learning process for even myself i'm not the expert on modesty i'm still learning along the way as well it's been an amazing journey and honestly it's been insane of like growth from both ends of like just understanding and being able to like compromise for our relationship and for the relationship with modesty and gymshark yeah, it was an amazing conversation. So after that day at the Gymshark HQ and having that conversation, I went back to the hotel and I honestly, I just rested up. And then the next day was the event. I'm starting to get anxious. Not good. Right here. Right ahead, by yeah. Good morning, Ben. So far. This is so good. Yeah. Are you coming on This is where we are doing the workout class. So they're currently setting up the mats right now. The event was honestly like. It was the highlight of my trip. Everything was amazing in the trip, but this is the highlight of my trip because I got to meet my community in person, you all, and some of y'all weren't able to go, obviously, because it's in London, and I can't wait to do more meetups because it's genuinely, like, sometimes, I have to be honest, I don't have full confidence all the time. Just like others contemplate their self-worth, I do the same thing and especially the days before the event I am literally like is anyone gonna show up is anyone want to even see me like all these things are going through my mind but then when I see y'all in person it's like this genuine feeling of just love comfort 
being able to communicate with you all, listen to you, and to train with you. And we also did a run. Y'all, we literally did a run. It was so last minute on the spot. I was like, you know what? Let's do a run and warm up before the workout. And we literally ran to Piccadilly Circus around and came back to the Gymshark store. And Piccadilly Circus is like a place that, you know, is close by the Gymshark store in Regent Street. And then we did the workout class and we also did a Q&A, which this Q&A was probably like, it just felt so natural. I feel like I speak on behalf of many of us in the room, but for myself, like fitness is something that I've always wanted to get into. Um, and I've been going to the gym for like seven years, but it was only until I downloaded your app and you've literally changed my life. Like as a person, I have muscles now, like I can't believe this. And I'm like showing my friends my muscles. But when we were doing like the warm up this morning, I was looking at my bestie and I was like, oh my God, that's what we do on the app. And I just want to thank you. and. Thank you for changing me and my fitness journey and just thank you, I guess, on behalf of all of us for being you and your true self and the fact that you're so close to your faith is so inspiring and thank you. It was honestly so easy just to communicate with you all. It's like we're literally just family and best friends and it was an amazing experience, especially like being able to meet you all one on one, hear you out and for you to hear me as well, because I said this on my Instagram stories if you saw it, but if you didn't, then it's okay. There was a couple of people telling me like, keep doing what you're doing. You're genuinely making change and impacting their life. And I think hearing that in person, it hits harder because social media, there's like, there's a screen in between us. And like, I know I'm speaking to a camera, but I'm also speaking to you. So it's like, it's strange when you see people in person, it's like, this is, this is real life. It's literally real life. And I can't believe it's my life. God has blessed me with you all. He has given me the opportunity to meet you all in person. And throughout this year, I'm going to be continuing to keep going and meeting you all in person. But it is just, it's a surreal moment of gratitude. So I do not take any of it for granted. I'm sorry if I ever did feel like I was taking it for granted by not being consistent on my platforms by not being there for you all the time. I feel in like a really good place these past couple of weeks and even being consistent on YouTube again, like I, I, I know I'm kind of rambling on, but like it was just, it just feels like I'm finally feeling, I guess, reconnected in a way. Before we start crying on here, um, let's get into the last thing of this trip, which was the Gymshark meeting at the HQ in London. So. The HQ that I was at for the collection was in Birmingham and there's also an HQ in London, in central London. So we went there because we were discussing the things for the up and coming modesty launches and really making sure that we're doing this the right way. Uh, well, yeah, we're, we're definitely over on the office already. Uh, hey, hey, how are you? Long time to see you. The thing about product, it takes time when it comes to fabrics, materials, getting the shapes, the sizes, the blocks right. All of that takes so much time and I don't want to just give you an outfit with extra length, like a long t-shirt. Like that's not going to give you that level of confidence in the gym. And that's the thing that I struggled with is feeling confident in the gym the same way that if you wear leggings or a sports bra in the gym, you put on those leggings, you put on the sports bra and you feel so confident. Can we do that with modesty for a woman who wants coverage to feel confident as well in that same piece? And I believe we can. And I want to make sure of it. So whenever we create a piece, there is way more meaning that goes in behind it. And also the materials of the piece to make sure that it helps you perform at the highest level. And that is tricky when it comes to modesty because you don't want it overly baggy to the point where it's drowning you, but you don't want it overly tight to the point it's cinching you. And modesty comes in different journeys. So we're making sure that it's a balance of everything because on my modesty journey, I had a little bit of everything. And I was on my journey working towards, you know, going up and up and up. Like I started with a crop top and just leggings. That was modesty for me. And then over time, I, I went through, 
you know, crop top to fully covering my stomach. Like, modesty is a journey and everyone is on their own path. And even if you just want more coverage, like, I still want you to wear this. Even if you like to wear leggings in a sports bra in the gym, I want you to wear this piece and be like, I still feel confident in this because it is unique. It's cool. It makes me feel, it makes me feel good. And so that is why I am just so passionate about this because I love fashion as well. And um, yeah, I just really want you to love these pieces. And we are, we're finally getting close. And you know, when you're working towards something, right? And you feel like you're never actually getting there. And you're like, you're working towards it. You're working towards it. You're working towards it. And you feel like you're never going to actually make progress. I promise you, when you stick at it and you continue to try and try and try and keep going and never ever give up, you will finally see the progress. And that is the moment that I had today was there is genuine progress. And it's like, I'm actually seeing it come to life. And it was just, it was such like a relief. Like I was literally sitting there and I was just so happy because I could just finally see it come to life. And like being able to even be involved in this journey within like growing modesty throughout Gymshark is just, it's surreal. It's literally surreal. And I wouldn't be able to do this without you all. And I'm just making sure that this is going to be the best for you. And I'm just very excited for you to have everything. Okay, I don't want this vlog to be too long. So um, my advice to you is whatever you are passionate about, you have to trust the journey that you're on. Stop searching for answers all the time. Stop getting distracted and falling back into those bad habits that are bringing you down. You have to understand your value and your worth and how capable you are of doing so much. And you have to think big. You have to think big for yourself always and know that you can do it, but it takes time. And sometimes you're going to contemplate, is this for me? Am I on the right path? But you are on the right path. You have to make sure everything also aligns with you always, because if it's not authentic and it doesn't align with you, then you're not going to enjoy it. Whatever it is that you're working towards or whatever it is that you are doing now. And that can be hard because we can be in tough situations in our life. So you really have to have that conversation with you and just know that if I can do this, so can you. And it's definitely been a journey for sure. Yeah, that is literally crazy. I'm actually glad that maybe I didn't have the first three pieces of content or the first three days of the video because I sat here and got to speak to you about this. And um, yeah, everything happens for a reason, right? So, um. That is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I am about to um, quickly pack and uh, head back to Dallas. So um, I will see you in the next vlog. Make sure you subscribe. I love you all so much. And I can't wait to continue doing more meet and greets and workout classes and maybe um, even run clubs in the future. So um, I love you all so much. Mwah.